Congratulations, you've earned a digital badge. This video is going to show you how you can add these digital badges to your email signatures if you choose to do so. I'm going to show you how to do this in Office 365 email online and also in Microsoft Outlook, the desktop application that some of us use. So I'm online right now, you can tell because you can see the website across the top and you can see if I had other tabs open. And there are several ways you can get to the email signature feature, but one of the ways you can do that is by clicking this settings icon. It looks like a little cog. And then you're going to search for signature and you'll find email signature. When you click on that, it's going to open a new window and it's going to take you right to the spot where you can make adjustments to your online email signature. So you see I have an email signature set up here. If I wanted to adjust it, I could. I'm just going to come in, put my cursor at the end of it and hit enter once. I may decide to do it another time, but I'm going to wait and see how it looks with these badges. To add an image to this signature, I'm going to click this first icon that says insert picture inline. So I click on that and I've already maneuvered to the folder where I've got my badges saved. So I'm going to select one of my badges. I'm going to scroll down. It's a pretty small little space here. I'm going to put my cursor after the badge and probably hit the space bar once, maybe twice, to space out the badges just a little bit. If I want to add a second badge that I've earned, I can come in and I can select one and it's there. I can continue with all of the badges that I've earned if I choose to do so. If I'm okay with it looking like this, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then when I do go send an email, so I'm still online, and I'm going to create a new email, you'll notice that this email signature comes in with my digital badges there. Now, I personally use Outlook as my main email client. Just like almost everything to do with technology, there's multiple ways of doing things, but the way I found easiest in Outlook is to click New Email and go to this Signature option, go down to Signatures, and you will see that I have one signature. I've got it called Cindy Sig, and this is what it looks like. I actually think I want to create a second signature because I might not always want to send the signature with the badges. But I think I want to keep this same information, so I'm just going to highlight it all and copy it using Control C to copy. And I'll click New to create a new signature. I think I'm just going to call this signature badges. And then I've made sure I've got that one selected. I'm going to paste the existing signature because I want to keep that the same. And now I need to add my badges. So in this version, you're going to look for the icon closer to the right hand side to add pictures. So I click on this. It takes me, I may have to maneuver to find it, but I found the folder and I'm going to select the first badge I've earned. And this time I'm still going to put my cursor in here and click space just to space it out a little bit and I'll go grab my next badge and maybe I earned three badges already. Once I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And then when I create a new email, you'll see that I have multiple choices. By default, I'm still leaving this one. If I want to change it to the badges signature, I've got it. If I want to change my default signature to be this instead of the one without the badges, I can go back into Signature and Signatures, and then I can change my default signature for my new messages right here to be badges. I hope you enjoy working with badges in your email signatures if you choose to do so, but be prepared. I'm guessing that when you start including a bunch of badges on your signature, others are going to start asking about them, and we hope you'll tell them about the things that you've learned in the training sessions.